quick turnaround. So we're, uh, we'll get going tonight. Uh, game group out there, minus a few that played last night. They'll be back in. but um, And then the practice group's going out later today. We've talked a few times with you about Lafreniere trying the right side. Op, it looks like maybe that might be something you're going to look at. Have you chatted with him much, or do you have any idea about you know how comfortable he is doing that? Um, in conversations, he's played both sides. Um, and so, you know, it... Um, there, there could be opportunity for that. Um, right now, he's not slated to play tonight. Oh, okay. okay. So he was skating with the game group. Correct. Right Correct. As of as of right now, uh-huh. there's always things going inside the room. It changes mm-hmm. from the time I get in to the time that I just walk down this hallway. Right now, <laughs> things change all the time. So, um, but as of right now, he is not playing tonight. Played a good game last night, though. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said last night, there was there were some good things. There were some things that were not good. You know, just just in general, whether it, you know, you guys mentioned lines or uh, there's parts of the game. I didn't. I thought we weren't very good in the first period, but I thought we were much better in the second. So there's good and bad. I think you know part of that's on us too, putting in a new system in place and like trying to get that down a road with where we want to be and doing that I think there's other things that get taken away from it and that's one on one development time it's power play and penalty kill time while the teams are still split you know we're focusing on an in game group of power play or an in game group of penalty kill and um, the first five days and you know only having the players available for three hours or an hour and 45 on the ice it makes it just a little bit more challenging we're past that now but now we're into you know, a bunch of games, three games in four days. And once we get through tonight, there'll be a stretch here where we can, I feel like we can really start to dial in on some things. So um, there's a lot of different areas, including development and in one-on-one video sessions. It was just a really quick turnover from last night to this morning with the things that are going on. And you're dealing with a larger number of guys and guys that are banged up and available to play. And so you're dealing with a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, that's just part of training camp. Um, I feel like, like I said before, after the game tonight, there's, you know, there's probably eight practices in there that are gonna, can be really good practices with the two games in would the middle. You, would you expect a major uh, cut down, uh, roster cut At some point, Larry. At some point, Larry, there's got to be, you know, there's, we got to, we got to have moves. Um, you can't keep. Can't keep having split groups, and you can't keep practicing. So at some point, like in every training camp, there'll be um, there'll be moves being made. Yeah. Can you back him off of Bond's question? At this point, are you looking for anything to jump? I'm back. Repeat it for me. Sorry, just piggyback him off of what Bond asked okay. about lineups, like the, what the lines are looking like. You mentioned you have those days about a week after the games end. Are you looking for things like looking for any lines that gel? Or um, I think yes and no. <clears throat> if something I, if something wasn't completely on point last night that I was looking at, that doesn't mean that uh, I think you throw it out the window. Um, I thought that inside of some of the things we were looking at, I thought that Gustafson and Schneider were a really good pair together. And so that, that doesn't mean that that's set in stone or glue either. It just leaves me coming away from the game saying, okay, that pair played well together. Um, and so uh, I, I, I don't think you hang your hat either way. I don't think that it'll be set in stone and say, okay, on game one, this is it. This is where we are for the year. I think things move all the time, and they certainly move based on injury and whatever else might come into play on any given day. With um, I don't know whether he's going to play on Yeah, I think um, I think like like last night, guys coming in for the first game after not playing all summer. I think that there's a, a process to get into it. I, you know, you're hoping everybody comes out and gives an A plus game, but that's not always the case. I think it's important for the players that haven't played to get in and and start to do good things and make the mistakes to in the system and what they're learning and just trying to take everything in. And so, I'm glad he's I'm glad he's in because he now gets to 
you know, be a part of what we're doing with regard to how we're going to play and an identity that we're looking for. Again, these are smart guys. I don't think they need a month to figure it out, but I do think they need to get in and, like, work on things and make sure they have a good understanding of what it is that we're trying to do. So from that sense, I'm glad he's in the game and um, get a chance to see what he can do. He, sh he, sh he should be. I mean, he can skate. He can make plays. Um, we're talking about a talented guy with a high hockey IQ. We sh should be able to fit in fine. What are your questions for personality? I'm just getting to know everybody in the room right now. I mean, my conversations with Timmy have been great. Um, we've had great conversations. There hasn't been a lot. Again, it's not like you with you just think about last night and what went on from the end of the game to this morning and getting ready for a game, getting ready for practice, getting ready for two sessions, watching the video. And so there's a lot that goes from the end of last night to this morning. And so, again, that kind of takes away from the time. And I think once, the, once we do bring it down to a, a more manageable size, a more manageable group, that's when you can start to get to know players and they can get to know me a little bit better. It's not early. I mean, I've had, I've had some good conversations with him and others. It's just it's a, it's a busy time right now. With, uh, with Phil being out, does that kind of hamper a little bit some of the things that you need? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a little bit more challenging, and, you, and I'd like to, you'd like to have him in, but you're also at a point in the camp where I think you're really starting to, you're starting to feel it in different areas of your body. And the practices that we've had, we have had, I feel like they, that the pace has been pushed up the ice and even from behind, chased from behind, pushed up the ice. There's been a lot of back and forth. There, it's been a lot of stopping and starting, and I think that takes takes a toll on the body a little bit. Um, and so you're getting to a point where you got to assess where everybody's at, and um, and then make decisions from there. Uh, the most important thing is that we're in a good spot with the game and a good spot with the conditioning for game one. There's a there's a bigger picture, and that's game one against Buffalo. Maybe you would want, want to see him with our Who? Yeah, I, listen, it is what it is, right? There's, there's nothing I, can, I, can't, I can't think about the what-ifs. You know what I mean? At some point, maybe we'll get to that. I would like to see that, but not, to, not today. <laughs> not, to, not today. What are your thoughts on Ryan Lindgren and Mark and Kutcher? Are there two players that are kind of hard-nosed yeah. and do a lot of this one? Thing? Yeah. Like, Really good in the sense of what you said. They do a lot of they do a lot of heavy lifting and heavy work. And there's been others out here too that you know are trying to make that same impression in camp with how they play the game. I thought um, I thought Pitlick played a really good game like that the other night. He was kind of a bull in a china shop and just plowing forward and banging bodies and winning battles. And you know even even some of the younger players are making noise. I know Rempe had the fight, but the way he's physical and he's heavy on the body and. Edstrom can play that way once in a while, and um, it's been good to see that from, from different players, and, and I think we need that too.